वेलकम फ्रॉम द स्लीपर क्रिकेट ग्राउंड वी हैव अनदर मैच बिटवीन कोच चीताज एंड कोच शॉर्क दिस इज द टॉस टाइम वी हैव अंपायर कयूम एंड अरशद यस प्लीज Hundred is the call and ball first. Uh, Chita's uh, captain Amin is with me. Amin, अभी आपने पहले एक मैच देखा. आप क्या समझते हैं कि इस पिच पे आप कितना टारगेट शट कर देंगे? पहले हम बॉलिंग कर रहे हैं. तो इन्शाल्लाह कम से कम रोकने की कोशिश करेंगे कि बोर्ड पे स्कोर ना इतने लगे. आगे चेस करने में थोड़ी आसानी हो हमें. आपके ख्याल में आपके पास कौन सा की प्लेयर है जो कि इनको रिस्ट्रिक्ट कर सकता है क्या हमारे पास तीन स्पिनर हैं जो कि कुवैत में माने हुए स्पिनर हैं उसके बाद हमारे पास फास्ट बॉलर है मोहम्मद शफीक जो कि नए आए हैं अमरजिंग स्टार कह सकते हैं उन्हें हम तो इन इतनी एबिलिटी है हमारी टीम में कि वो रोक सकते हैं इन शह चलें जी ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू वेरी मच वी हैव काशि विदस काशिफ शॉर्क के कैप्टन है आप काशी भी बड़ा आपका एक्सपीरियंस लंबा एक्सपीरियंस है कोई क्रिकेट के साथ कैप्टन भी रहे हैं आप लंबे अरसे तक आप क्या समझते हैं कि आज के ये इस जो एक टूर्नामेंट स्टार्ट किया है इससे नए लड़के सामने नज़र आते हैं आपको आएंगे जी डेफिनेटली ये बहुत अच्छा स्टेप है ये एक यंगस्टर के लिए जो लोग बहुत ज़्यादा लड़के ऐसे होते थे जिनको चांस नहीं मिल पाता था लेकिन एक ऐसा प्लेटफॉर्म कोवेद क्रिकेट ने सेट किया है जो बहुत ही मैं कहता हूँ आउटस्टैंडिंग है आउटस्टैंडिंग है और एक अच्छी क्रिकेट हो रही है और देखने को भी अच्छी मिल रही है क्रिकेट क्योंकि सब ऑलमोस्ट सब प्लेयर टॉप प्लेयर है अपनी अपनी डोमेस्टिक टीम्स के तो टफ टाइम है अच्छी क्रिकेट है तो सबके लिए अच्छा है बहुत अच्छा प्लेटफॉर्म है जैसे आपने देखा कि टॉप क्लास के बैट्समैन या प्लेयर्स यहाँ मौजूद हैं आपकी टीम में कौन कौन सा ऐसा घीरा है जो आप समझते हैं कि आज के इस मैच में आपके लिए एक डिफरेंट किस्म का रोल अदा कर सकता है देखें जैसे मैंने बोला है सब लड़के मेरे ख्याल में सब टॉप प्लेयर हैं क्लिक करने का टाइम होता है क्योंकि हमारे पास कुछ न्यू कमर्स हैं कुछ पुराने हैं उस्मान गनी पुराने में मैं हूँ अली जहीर है एक्सपीरियंस प्लेयर्स में मिज़ान है कुछ नए लड़के हैं जो नीचे से परफॉर्म करके ऊपर आए हैं तो कोई भी लड़का परफॉर्म करेगा तो मैच विनिंग परफॉर्मेंस देगा ये ऐसी टीमें बनी है सब टीमें मेरी टीम नहीं सब टीमें ऐसी बनी है कि कोई भी परफॉर्म करेगा तो वो मैच विनिंग होगा पिछले मैच हमने देखा एक सौ उन्होंने टारगेट दिया था और एक उन्होंने मैच भी जीत के दिखाया आप क्या समझते हैं आप क्या टारगेट शट कर सकते हैं जी मेरा भी यही प्लान था कि हम पहले बैटिंग करेंगे क्योंकि नए लड़के हैं थोड़ा सा प्रेशर भी होता है इन मैचेस का मुझे जो लगता है एज आ सीनियर और एक्सपीरियंस के हिसाब से तो मैंने भी यही सोचा कि पहले बैटिंग करेंगे और हम लोग 160 170 करेंगे तो वो एक अच्छा टोटल होगा इस फिगर पे फिर अंडर द लाइट चेज करना भी थोड़ा सा मुश्किल होता है इधर चलिए थैंक यू वेरी मच ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर यूर मैच थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो दिस इज द टॉस विन टॉस जो है जो आज का इस शॉर्क और कोत चीता के दरमियान मैच होने वाला था और इसमें जो टॉस जीता है वो कोच चीता ने जीता है और जिसके कप्तान अमीन ने जो है ना पहले बैटिंग का फैसला किया है आप हमारे साथ रहिए अब देखते हैं कि ये मैच कहाँ तक जाता है पहले उन्होंने फील्डिंग का फैसला किया है और जो कप्तान थे दूसरी तरफ के शॉर्क के काशिफ उन्होंने कहा कि हम एक तक सत्तर तक का टारगेट देंगे साथ रहिएगा
स्लेविया क्रिकेट ग्राउंड से दोबारा आपको हम खुश आमदेद कहते हैं कोई चीता और वर्सेस कोई शॉक और मैच शुरू हो जाता है टॉस जो है कोई चीता ने जीत के पहले फील्डिंग का फैसला किया था अब देखते हैं कि कप्तान अमीन का यह फैसला किस हद तक जाता है जबकि टॉस के बाद हमसे बात करते हुए उनके कप्तान शार्क वालों के कप्तान काशिफ शरीफ ने बताया था कि उनकी कोशिश होगी टारगेट जो है वो एक साठ सत्तर तक सेट करें अच्छा बॉल अपील अराउट पहली बॉल पे पहली कामयाबी दानिश जावेद की जबरदस्त किस्म की कैच और उस्मान द डेंजर मैन गोइंग बैक अभी मैच की पहली बॉल पे पहली कामयाबी और एक बड़ा नाम बड़ी विकेट उस्मान पवेलियन लौट गए कादिर हयात को चौर की तरफ से नए बैट्समैन अशीन जो कि जबरदस्त किस्म की पहली बॉल पे एक बहुत बड़ी विकेट लेने में काम हुए अब दोबारा से आए अच्छा बॉल था उनका गार्डन एंड से बॉल कर रहे हैं कादिर हयात नए बैट्समैन जबकि नॉर्थ सेकंड एंड पे शरीफ मौजूद रन्स का आगाज पहला रन कोई शॉट्स की तरफ से नमान शरीफ जबकि दूसरे एंड पे और कादिर जिनको अभी ज्वाइन किया उन्होंने अच्छा आगाज कादर की जानब से शॉर्ट बॉल बॉल बैट का किनारा लेती हुई बाउंड्री की तरफ और अच्छा लास्ट मोमेंट पे पाउंड डाल के बॉल को रोका आमिर मौजूद पीछे पीछे जिन्होंने बॉल पकड़ के वापस भेजी अंपायर का इशारा लग पाए
हेलमेट पे लगकर गेंद गया था बॉल पे आइस नहीं रख सके थे और उस अच्छा शॉर्ट पिच बॉल अच्छी डिलीवरी संगीत की जानब से नए बॉलर पहली दफ़ा चांस मिला है क्रिकेट में बड़ी लीग में इनको खेलने का यकीनन वो अपने आप को साबित करेंगे और जिस तरह से उन्होंने पहला आउट किया है संगीत ने जबकि नए बॉलर आए हैं शफीक इनको भी पहली दफ़ा इस बड़ी लीग में चांस मिला है अब देखते हैं कि ये इस चांस को किस तरीके से अवेल करते हैं पहले ओवर के अख्ताम पे छः छः रन और एक खिलाड़ी आउट एक बड़ी विकेट उस्मान की लेग साइड पे बॉल फील्डर मौजूद और अच्छी फील्डिंग का मुजाहरा नौमान के दो रन और टीम का स्कोर आठ रन शफीक गार्डर से बॉल कर रहे हैं अच्छा बॉल था एक रन का इजाफा हमारे वो भी वर्चुअल ने अभी भी ज्वाइन किया उनको हम बताते चलें कि इस मैच का ये टॉस जो है वो कोई चीताज ने जीता था जिसके कैप्टन अमीन हैं और अमीन ने जो है पहले फील्डिंग का फैसला किया था और दावत दी थी काशिफ जो कि कैप्टन है कोई शौक के और बड़ी पहली बॉल पे कामयाबी मिली जब उस्मान गनी जो कि काफ़ी हार्ड हिटर हैं और बड़े बड़े स्कोर करते हैं बड़े बड़े छक्के मारते हैं वो पवेलियन में कोई रन बनाए बगैर वापस चले गए थे शफीक बॉल कर रहे हैं खालिद कादिर को और अच्छा बॉल था फील्डर मौजूद हैं और वापस भेजा उन्होंने अपने साथी बैट्समैन को नमन को के सी सी हदफ अब राय टी ट्वेंटी नेशनल चैम्पियनशिप का दूसरा मैच कोई शॉक्स और कोई चीतास के दरमियान में मोहम्मद शफी गार्डन एंड से बॉल कर रहे हैं थोड़ा सा शॉर्ट ऑफ लेंथ बॉल था जिसको क्रॉस खेलते हुए मिड विकेट में खेलना चाहते थे सही तरीके से बैट पे नहीं आई वहाँ फील्डर मौजूद थे और उन्होंने फील्ड किया जबकि इस मैच को जो सुपरवाइज कर रहे हैं वो कयूम और अरशद इस बार विक्टो में बॉल था अच्छा बॉल शफीक का अच्छा शॉट लेकिन बाउंड्री पे मौजूद है फील्डर और चार रन बॉल लेके वो बाउंड्री के बाहर चले गए आमिर
आशिन संगीत ने एक ओवर में चार रन दिए एक विकेट हासिल की बहुत कीमती उस्मान गनी की जबकि मोहम्मद शफीक एक ओवर में सात रन दिए उन्होंने तो अब तक अच्छा पावर प्ले में अच्छे बॉलिंग का मुजाहरा आशिन कंटिन्यू करेंगे
सिराज एक और नुकसान कोई चाक्स का और कप्तान मोहम्मद काशिफ शरीफ खुद लाए हैं तशरीफ ग्राउंड के अंदर जबकि सामना करेंगे शराज का शराना से इन्होंने अभी भी आउट किया खादिर को और हम बताते चलेंगे ये मैच जो कि कोई शार्स और कोई चीताज के दरमियान खेला जा रहा है इसमें कोई चीताज ने टॉस जीत के पहले फील्डिंग का फैसला किया था उनके कप्तान अमीन और उन्होंने कहा था कि हम कोशिश करेंगे कि इसको रिस्ट्रिक्ट कर सकें और उन्होंने बताया था कि कुछ नए बॉलर्स हम इसमें इंट्रोड्यूस करवाएंगे अब देखते हैं कि वो क्या आउटपुट देते हैं अपना अच्छा बॉल रन में कोई इजाफा नहीं और ऊंचा खेल दिया है सिक्स रन के लिए काशिफ जो कि कोत की नेशनल टीम के रेगुलर उन्होंने भरपूर फायदा उठाया शराज का जब उन्होंने मुंह पे उनके बॉलिंग की तो उन्होंने उसको कन्वर्ट किया सिक्स रन में क्रिकेट के स्लैंग लैंग्वेज में मुंह का मतलब क्या है कि हॉफ वॉली मिलती है तो कोई भी बैट्समैन उसको नहीं छोड़ता है और उसी का भरपूर फायदा उठाया काशिफ शरीफ ने जो कि इस बॉल लास्ट बॉल पे सिक्स मारने में कामयाब हुए अब तक आशन संगीत ने दो ओवर में सोलह रन दे के एक विकेट हासिल की मोहम्मद शफीक एक ओवर सात रन यासीन पटेल एक ओवर आठ रन और यासीन पटेल दोबारा कॉल किया है कप्तान ने उनको कंटिन्यू करेंगे गड रन से हम अपने कमेंट्री बॉक्स में खुश आमदेद कहते हैं विनोद को यकीन आप लोग सुबह से जो है उर्दू कमेंट्री सुन सुनकर थक गए होंगे तो अब आपके लिए इंग्लिश में कमेंट्री के लिए विनोद मौजूद हैं इन अब आप इंग्लिश और उर्दू दोनों में कमेंट्री सुनेंगे अब तक की सूरत हाल कुछ यूँ है कि के सी सी हलाफ अब्राय टी ट्वेंटी नेशनल चैम्पियनशिप का ये सेकेंड मैच जो कि कोई चीताज और कोई फैल कोई शार्स के दौरान खेला जा रहा है कोई चीताज ने टॉस जीत के पहले बैटिंग दी कोई 
शॉर्क को और किसी हद तक कामयाब क्योंकि पाँच शरिया एक ओवर में फोर्टी थ्री और दो खिलाड़ी आउट कर चुके हैं जबकि काशिफ खुद खेल रहे हुए हैं उनके कैप्टन उसको अलग की जानब खेल के एक रन और भाग के दूसरा रन भी बनाने में कामयाब हुए यासीन पटेल बड़ी अच्छी बॉलिंग करते हैं लेकिन अब तक वो अपनी उस लाइन और लेंथ को नहीं पकड़ सकें जिसके लिए मशहूर हैं इस बार अच्छा बॉल था उनका आराम से प्लेस किया काशिफ ने अब नौमान सामना करेंगे यासीन पटेल का ग्राउंड से बॉलिंग कर रहे हैं स्वीप के संदाज में खेलते हुए मेडिकलिया ने चार रन हासिल किए यासीन की एक्चुअली जो क्लास है वो अब तक अपने रिदम को पकड़ नहीं सके इसलिए बाउंड्रीज उनके ओवर में लग रही हैं और यकीन थोड़ा सा एक लम्बा फिक्रिया कप्तान अमीन के लिए क्योंकि वो इनको इनके की बॉलर हैं एक्चुअली लेकिन टॉस के टाइम पे जब अमीन से बात हो रही तो अमीन ने कहा था उनके पास दो तीन नए अच्छे बॉलर्स हैं जो कि यकीन इंस्पायर करेंगे इन मैचेस में नौमान का कवर स्कैन उठता हुआ शॉट और ये हमारे पास से गेंद बाउंड्री लाइन क्रॉस कर गई चार रन बड़े रिलैक्स होकर खेल रहे हैं नौमान बॉल का बुरी बॉल का वेट करते हैं फिर उस पर चार्ज करते हैं इस बार काफ़ी बाहर बॉल था थोड़ा सा शॉट देखते हुए उन्होंने कवर्स की जानब उसको खेल दिया बहुत बड़ा गैप और भरपूर इस्तेमाल पावर प्ले का जिसका यह आखिरी ओवर चल रहा है यासीन प्लेस करके एक रन बनाया नवान ने एक ही रन बन पाएगा फील्डर वहां पे मौजूद है मैं कमेंट्री के लिए दावत दूंगा विनोद को कि विनोद आइए और कमेंट्री कीजिए वेलकम विनोद थैंक यू तारिक सर वेरी गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम टू ऑल द व्यूअर्स हैव ट्यून्ड इन दिस एक्साइटिंग एनकाउंटर It's a pleasant evening and uh, fabulous conditions for a perfect cricket match. The most uh, experienced uh, pair of uh, Kashif he's at the crease he's been joined uh, he's been uh, partnering with Naman. This uh, tournament is bringing a lot of uh, exciting elements plenty of new talent being introduced. an opportunity to make sure that uh, everyone gets an a fair chance to display their skill right arm over gently play towards square leg soft hands trying to take a second rightly sent back by kashif that's a uh, good stuff there playing with soft hands Score is uh, moved on to 56 with the loss of two wickets. 6.1 overs. The power play has just ended. Watchfully played there. Soft hands, just uh, tapping it around and uh, stealing a single there. Amir Javed is the fielder, but unable to prevent the single. Your runs are coming quick, thick, and fast in terms of singles. Doubles. They're taking every opportunity to score. Again, firmly driven towards the long on. Yet another single to Noman. Both these uh, batsmen are playing all around the wicket. They are uh, watching the field and uh, planning their innings accordingly. Uh, is uh, there a big shot around the corner? We'll wait and watch. And Kashif is very much capable. 
again firmly driven straight back he's now brought himself on i mean after uh, using plenty of options he's uh, coming back to bowl kashif looks uh, slightly tired maybe the heat getting to him i mean he's all set to bowl uh, his uh, first over from the garden end and no one will be facing him kashif is slightly signaling for something towards the dressing room he looks uh, slightly uncomfortable is he cramping is he tired i will wait and watch He's having a short drink he's been the aggressor is uh, kashif is raised to 24 of 15 hopefully things are good with kashif because he's the captain everything is uh, lining on his shoulders right now the middle order no one around the wicket into the stumps big appeal been struck outside the line of the leg stump good start there by the skipper slightly flatter quicker he pulled it away short ball and it's a boundary he has uh, picked up the gap beautifully come on playing late yet another boundary there for noman is raised to 21 now the angle that uh, i mean he's bowling he's bowling around the wicket uh, with the field with the square leg inside the circle again slightly fuller on the leg stump flicked away we'll wait and watch did the batsman get any bat on it the ball has raised away down the leg side very much fine a couple of more runs to noman as i was mentioning earlier the line is pretty much uh, on the stumps on the leg stump on and around so run scoring is pretty much easier this time he is compensated very well bowling it uh, on the off stump no man playing it to the point a rare dot ball the score has moved on to 72 for the loss of two wickets we are into the eighth over slightly slower great change in pace no man put these batsmen they're picking up singles at will they know the fielders they're right on the edge of the circle anything played with soft hands surely is going to be single there and again kashif going hard at the ball getting an outside edge the ball really tickling away a couple of runs to end the over number 8 been a busy over with the boundary coming off no man's bat it's a solid partnership really building good and steady you wait and watch if there's going to be any bowling changes the kuwait sharks going very steady they've lost their opener usman gani the fire power without scoring today kadir wali was the, the one down batsman who was again dismissed for 17 with one massive six and couple of boundaries the no man has been uh, having great support from his skipper kashif who's also looked very very dangerous uh, whenever the opportunity has arose he has ensured he's cleared uh, the fence with ease we're going to take a short break
after a short uh, prayer break we are just going to be resuming we welcome all the viewers who have just tuned in live images on the Kuwait uh, cricket official app Kuwait Cheetahs have won the toss and the captain uh, Amin has invited the Kuwait Sharks to take first strike and bat first looks like they're comfortable chasing there's going to be a change in bowling they're going to have a medium pacer bowling from the road end and that's Shafiq bowling right arm over a big appeal and yes he's given him no man has been adjourned LBW been caught right in front of the stumps Bowling pretty straight. The bowling change has really worked. The short break has just uh, broken the concentration of Noman. He misses the ball completely. Has been caught uh, right in front of the stumps. He has been dismissed for the left-hander and a right-hander. Straight away, the bowler going around the wicket, trying to change the angle. Shafiq has a, a very smooth run up. Pretty much a rhythm bowler. He's bowling full and straight. Let's wait and watch if there's any swing on offer. Top camera is going to be dark. Can any viewer and give it right, please? Top camera is. And he's here, all set and ready. Taking a strike. Watch fully played, straight to point. No run there. Excellent stuff there from Amir uh, Javed. Camera is going to be dark now. Please make it bright. It's a very exciting phase of uh, this uh, innings. We are right into the middle overs, wherein uh, you'll have to maneuver the ball around. Make sure you rotate the strike at regular intervals. Beautiful ball again, slightly short there. Amir trying to reach the ball. The ball just falling slightly short. Played it in the air. Length that uh, Shafiq is bowling. He's kept it there on uh, and outside the off stump. Popped with the fall of wicket of Noman. That's generally what happens when you pick up a wicket. The new batsman comes in. Trying to get the feel of the wicket. The lights are on. But this is, has been an excellent over there. Oh, that was a quick delivery, short of length. Very well fielded by Amir. Amir is back into action. It's good to see Amir Javid back. He's coming off an injury. We are looking forward to seeing him bat in the second innings. He's the former Kuwait captain. Shafiq is mixing it up. He's mixing his pace, line as in length. Again, once again, a quick ball. Played towards point, trying to cut it away. Unable to find the gap. No placement. The over is ended with a dot ball. An excellent over there from Shafiq. Nine overs uh, have been completed. 77 for three. The last batsman dismissed was Noman for 31. Will the skipper continue? We'll have to wait and watch. going to be a, a bowling change from both the ends. It looks like a spinner from the garden end. They have a point, a short cover. An extra fielder being moved on the offside. The deep point has been called inside. There's going to be a slip. That is uh, excellent.
exciting stuff. You would always love to see a slip in uh, the D20s. I think he's moved away. He's been pushed back to a short fine leg. The only fielder saving a single inside the circle is the short fine leg at uh, 45 degrees. Raj is the new bowler. Praveen Raj. He started uh, his spell with a single towards uh, mid wicket. Kashif will be eyeing the boundary. Tossed up, played on the full, straight down the ground. Two was long off, easy single. Kashif has moved on to 20. He has faced 11 deliveries. He's maintaining a good strike rate. Once again, tossing it up, pulling slightly slower. As I mentioned, there's no fielders saving the single. There's a new batsman inside. You would certainly want to be stopping a few singles, trying to force him to play over the top. That has not been seen. I mean, he's uh, very happy to give away the singles. Now we have four fielders cut away off the back foot, straight towards uh, the cover point. Again another single. Ali Zahir is back on strike. Again, down the leg side, he has swept it beautifully. The ball is uh, racing away towards the fence. Two easy runs. They're running for the third. That is excellent running there by the captain. He's pushing Ali Zahir as he was running to the danger end. But I think that's going to be a wide. Been signaled there. Wayward line. He's missed it altogether. The left-hander and right-handers are surely causing a problem for the bowler, Praveen Raj. He's struggling with his line. Three wides. Sloppy work by the wicketkeeper. Ball slightly quicker. Kashif. Again, the keeper has been sloppy. Trying to deflect the ball onto the stumps, conceding an extra overthrow. That's three runs conceded. The bowler overcompensating, comp trying to bowl slightly quicker. Allowing the batter. This time he's tossed the ball up. Much slower in pace, driven firmly towards short extra cover. I mean the captain fielding and that's the end of the tenth over. We are almost halfway in this innings. Ten overs been bowled, eighty eight, but the loss of three wickets. Three massive wickets. Usman Gani hasn't troubled the scorers. Adar Wali was the next batsman and uh, the last man out was uh, Noman Saeed. There's been uh, plenty of hard work there by the skipper. He's been running very hard. He's been pushing uh, his uh, partners for every run possible. Shafiq will be continuing from uh, the road end. <coughs> Kashif will be facing the Kuwait uh, Sharks. 
looking well balanced at this stage quicker ball trying to flick it away towards the deep fine leg getting an inside it onto his pads the ball lobbing away towards deep fine leg another single that was a quick delivery excellent pace there by Shafiq his ball is first over for nine runs. He's come back to bowl. Make a pattern. He's bowled two overs. He's picked up one wicket of uh, Numan, giving away ten runs. And he's ahead. Will be facing uh, Shafiq. Again, watchfully played straight to the point fielder. Ali Zahir is uh, unable to find the gap. The angle is what has uh, kept him at bay. So far, he hasn't been uh, able to score runs freely off Shafiq. The field has been uh, set. Short third man, a deep backward uh, point, which is very fine. There's a sh point as well. Three fielders behind the square on the offside are very much aware of Ali's uh, strengths on the offside. That's the reason they have a boundary rider here. A wide east third man, pretty much a deep backward point. Once again, quick ball, trying to pull it away. No timing, no elevation. Ball uh, tickling away towards square leg. Easy single. Shafiq is bowling very, very smartly. He's mixing up the pace and the length. He's kept it on the shorter side in this over. He's hurried the batsman. Both Kashif and uh, Ali Zahir. We're unable to pick him. So we don't watch the next delivery. This time a slightly slower. He drops in pace. He's been a smart operator. He's been surprising the batters with uh, his uh, quick short of length deliveries. Full delivery there. Kashif trying to tickle it away towards third man, completely missing it. Unable to get bat and ball. Kashif is aware that the third man is in this circle. Any bat and ball would have fetched him a boundary had he found the gap. Three fielders again, a short third man. A backward point and a cover point in the circle, saving the single. Along with the short cover, driven firmly down the ground towards the long off. He's very pleasing to watch when Kashif is in full flow, when he's driving the ball down the ground. He loves going uh, over the top. The score has moved on to 91 after 11 overs, 9 more overs to go. Ashif has moved to 26 of 17. Kuwait oh, Sharks have been after being invited to bat first. Have been very very steady. They will uh, certainly look to post. 140 to 160. Change in bowling again. Praveen Raj. He's back. He's uh, tossed the ball, driven firmly towards the ground. Easy single. There's no short mid wicket. And Ali Zahir has been playing uh, the ball in the air. Frequently towards short mid wicket. 
Navin Raj, right arm over. Again, as I said, he's played it uh, towards uh, the short mid wicket. Easy single there. The line has been uh, slightly surprising. He's bowling uh, within the stumps. Every time the ball, ball within the stumps has been. Uh, Pushed away in the gap towards mid wicket. Oh, excellent shot. He's tossed it up. The fielder charging in. Superb catch that is. Wonderfully taken. Running in from uh, deep extra cover. Kashif has perished. Yeah, his patience has uh, really okay. got the better of him. And Yasin Patel, who is an excellent fielder. Got under the ball comfortably and pouched it easily. There was no way Yasin Patel was dropping uh, this one. The big fish Kashif uh, is uh, heading back to the pavilion. He's lost his wicket at a very, very crucial time. Nine more overs to go. And we all know how dangerous Kashif can be at the back end. Excellent uh, fielding skills being displayed there by Yasin. Picking the ball smartly. Vikrant Gupta is the new batter. Yet another exciting prospect. We'll have to wait and watch. How he takes his innings in this tournament. He's got an opportunity. And uh, Praveen Raj. Continues to Ali Zahir. Once again, ball slightly slower. Outside the off stump. Ali Zahir allowing the ball to come. Playing late. Dabbing it towards the uh, third man. No much pace, easy single. Vikrant Gupta will be taking strike for the first time in this competition. You've heard a lot of good things about Vikrant. Score is 94. The loss of four wickets, 11.4 overs being bowled. The camera on the batsman, we need to be right more. Praveen Raj. Oh, watchfully played there. Good attempt there by Shiraz. That was a chance. Being put down. But uh, mind you, that was an excellent effort from Shiraz. Vikrant was uh, surprised by the bounce. He was early into the shot. Played it in the air. Again, watch this. That's the repeat of the last ball. And again, Praveen Raj has foxed Ali Zahir. Cotton bowled. He had no clue that the ball had dipped on him. And he played it straight back to the bowler. Easy catch. That was a dolly. That was a repeat of the last delivery wherein uh, Vikrant played a similar shot and he got away with it with Siraj uh, making a valiant effort. Getting both his hands and the ball really popping out of his hands. Excellent stuff there by Praveen Raj. He's picked up his second wicket in the over. He had Kashif uh, caught at uh, deep cover and now he has got Ali Zahir. Now two new batsmen at the crease. Half the side for the Kuwait Sharks are back into the dugout. Mohammad Mizan, he is the new batter. was a double blow in uh, the last over for the Kuwait Sharks. I mean, definitely be very, very pleased. Yes, 
the opening bowler is back uh, to bowl his second spell. Ball that is looking very very close, but I think the batsman umpire is signaling that uh, there was some bat. Right, yeah. Pulling right arm over again, wrapped him. Uh, Wait and watch. Did he get some bad on that? No, he didn't. He wrapped him on the pads. Leg by. Another single. They're finding it difficult to pick the medium paces. Two new batters at the crease. Muhammad Amin will be looking to close things quick and fast. Fully played now. Finally, some barren ball, but firmly driven straight to the bowler. Hasten is the bowler. He was uh, bowling the opening spell. He's come back to bowl his uh, second spell. One for 16 in his first spell. Putting right arm over. Is there any shape? He's trying to figure out uh, if there's any movement in the air or off the wicket. He's got a very relaxed run up. He's bowling full and straight. Vikrant, Gupta and uh, Mizan Ali are the two new batters who have joined in. It's been an excellent over so far from Asen. Oh, change in pace. He has foxed to the batsman. Beating him all ends up. They're finding it hard to pick Asen. He's uh, very, very deceptive with his pace. Wonderfully bold. Driven very firmly towards uh, long on. Easy single. Vikrant Gupta has moved on to two. He's faced five deliveries. The score is 95 for five. The Kuwait Sharks, after a bigger pardon, 98 for five. For the loss of five wickets, 13 overs have been bowled. We have seven more overs to go. Raj will be continuing. He's bowled a brilliant spell so far. Oh, beautifully bowl. Batsman having no clue. A play and a miss. Prabin Raj so far has picked up two for 15. Oh, watchfully played. He's uh, keeping uh, the batters guessing Vikrant is finding it difficult to really pick up this time bold slower trying to go for the reverse and he has perished straight to the fielder I was slightly unlucky for the batter he came out with a reverse sweep but uh, managing to find the f only fielder at backward point there's no third man but uh, credit goes to Praveen Raj for uh, drawing a false stroke from uh, Vikrant. He 
He has wasted his opportunity. There were seven more overs to go. He came up with the reverse sweep. An element of excitement, but uh, perishing very, very unlucky. But an excellent catch there at a backward point by Sharif. We have a new batsman, that's Bijoy Philip. He has joined Mizan Ali. Kuwait Sharks are uh, in a bit of uh, spot of bother. They're finding it difficult, they're finding it very difficult to get the bowlers away. Again, a play and a miss. I think uh, they should be having a slip because the batsmen have no clue and uh, runs have really dried up. Siraj has moved in very much close. They still have only four fielders in the circle. They should really be encouraging the batters to go over the top or play some aggressive shots by getting in an attacking field. This time he has played it towards the short fine leg. Easy single. Vijay Philip is off the mark. Raveen Raj so far has picked up 3 for 16. Wrapping uh, the batter on the gloves. Excellent over there by Praveen Raj. Again, yet another successful over, a wicket taking over. Yes. The last two overs that Praveen Raj has bowled, he has picked up three wickets. That will surely make his captain very, very happy. And they have bought themselves right back into the game. The Kuwait Cheetahs, after a very brisk start there by the Kuwait Sharks, led by their skipper, Kashif. Will be taking strike for the first time. Again, beautifully played towards uh, mid on. And Siraj uh, trying to really charge, completely running over, conceding an extra run. That is uh, some sloppy work there by the fielder, Siraj. He's a very good fielder, mind you. He's an attacking fielder with a very strong arm, a powerful lad. Two easy runs there. Again, played us in the same direction. Back to Siraj. This time he strolls through and allows uh, an easy single. Kuwait uh, Sharks right now are dealing only in singles. They found it very hard to get uh, Praveen Raj away. So they are trying to scamp off through for a few runs from the other end. Executed stroke played straight down. Bijoy has kept uh, Siraj pretty busy. Down to long on. Three balls been hit straight to him. The 100 coming up for the Kuwait Sharks in the 14th over. The wicket keeper standing up to the stumps. Firmly driven. But uh, unable to beat the skipper, Ima Amin. Standing at uh, short covers. He looks very, very relaxed. He will be trying to pick uh, the remaining four wickets and finish this innings as quickly as possible. Change in pace. Change in line. Pretty wavered there. Wide being conceded. Mm -hmm. 
beautifully played down uh, towards uh, the fine leg, flicked away, but uh, straight to the fielder. A single there to Bijoy. It's been a pretty decent over there by Asin. He's considered uh, all his runs only in singles. Trying to heave it away towards uh, deep mid wicket. Shiraz doing the clean up, running uh, quick, thick, and fast towards his right, but uh, couldn't prevent a couple of runs. Bijoy is looking good. He's uh, striking the ball uh, sweetly. Fifteen overs done. We are now at the last stage of this innings. The last five overs. The death overs is normally what we call it. Raveen Raj will be bowling his last over. He has picked up three wickets for 16. Let's wait and watch if he can uh, pick up a wicket or two. Uh, in his last over. Once again, tossed up, beautifully bowled. A typical wrist spinner's delivery. The ball uh, leaving the batsman. Like I mentioned, he surely should be having a slip in there. It looks very, very encouraging. He's beaten the bat very, very often in the spell. The best thing is bowling uh, slightly slower through the air, allowing the ball to grip and turn. Play towards the uh, backward point. It's been a very, very tight spell there from Praveen Raj. Is, uh, this time played straight back to the point fielder. Sloppy stuff there, misfielded. The ball bursting through his hands, two easy runs. That should have been stopped. It should have been a dot ball. Nevertheless, Vijoy, who's looked very, very good, has been middling the ball very, very well. Praveen Raj has three more deliveries to complete his spell. This time, slightly cheeky from the batsman, trying to dab it down or paddle it towards fine leg. But... Uh, Unsuccessful this time. Ravin Raj has been uh, asking far too many questions to the batsman. Tossed up again, slower through the air, watchfully played back to the bowler. And uh, yet another dot ball. Going to be bowling his last ball, slightly quicker but straight uh, cut away towards the point, straight to the point fielder, the skipper. I mean, uh, we'll be very, very happy with this bowler. He's bowled a beautiful spell of uh, 4 overs, 3 for 18, picking up 3 prized wickets, especially the big wicket of uh, Kashif. And Ali Zahid. The score has moved on to 109. We have four more overs to go. Already six wickets down. Let's see when the batsmen will try to change uh, the approach. It's going to be a spinner. Shiraz will be the bowler who will be coming back to bowl his uh, second spell. From the road end, Kuwait Sharks surely must have sent some message to the batsman to up the ante and try and put up a competitive score. Because so far, 109 is pretty much in control. Again, trying to bowl. Pretty much full. Excellent stuff there from uh, the fielder running in from deep mid wicket. Keeping it down to a single. Mm -hmm. 
Bijoy eyeing the leg side boundary. We'll wait and watch. And this time he's driven it beautifully into the gap. Beats the short extra cover fielder. The ball really running away towards the deep extra cover fence. We have to wait and watch. Three easy runs. Excellent running there. The short cover field is pretty much straight towards uh, the long off. He's not square or wider. Now Ijaz has moved uh, himself slightly more wider. But uh, Mizan is on strike this time. Tossed up again. Good comeback there by Shiraz. He slowed it up. Both. The line has been uh, pretty good. The pace, the change in pace is working this time. Slightly quicker, trying to go across the line. Oh, the fielder was caught by surprise. I thought it was going surely to some fielder. But both the fielders looking at each other. An easy single. The ball was top edged. Brings Bijai back on strike. Bijai playing a late cut. Beautiful shot. Slight confusion there. That's pretty close. And I'm sure he's uh, short of his crease. Yes. The end fire confirms that. Uh, it was great work by the backward point fielder and the keeper. A combined effort. There was definitely no run. The ball was hit very, very firmly. Straight to the fielder. The fielder equally very agile. Excellent throw. Right over the stumps, making life easy for the wicket keeper. The fielder was Mohammad Farooq. Good work there to get the throw right up and above the stumps. And the great thing about uh, this over, Shiraz has bowled very, very slow through the air. This time slightly a bit quicker. No damage done. A dot ball. I mean, plenty of dot balls. They found it very, very difficult uh, to score. Looks a completely different uh, innings compared to what uh, Noman and uh, Kashif were playing. They were picking up singles, ones, twos, picking up those odd boundaries in between, running very, very hard. The left armor, Yasin Patel, is back. Uh, at the back end, he is a very, very smart uh, bowler, is Yasin. There's been plenty of variety, plenty of leg spinners, plenty of wrist spinners in this team. And that's uh, really caused a lot of problems. They bowled very, very smartly. They bowled slower through the air. They've tossed the ball up. They're not afraid to toss the ball up. Slam slightly quicker. A bit of confusion. Rightly sent back. Bijoy was trying to steal a single, but straight to the backward point fielder. Surely, surely there was no single. Yasin Patel pulling uh, left arm around. Uh, he's a finger spinner. We're going uh, wide of the crease, trying to make full use of the crease. The angle at which he's been bowling is... Uh, been very impressive. He's using the crease very, very smartly. Once again, wide of the crease. Tossing the ball into the stumps. The, the batsman really dabbing it towards the short mid wicket, trying to steal a couple of runs. But uh, Yasin very, very quick, keeping it down to a single.
Again, beautifully bold. Excellent delivery there by Yasin. Superb stuff. Again, yet another wicket. Parishes, wicket number eight is down. He is stumped by the wicket keeper Danish. He's Fox the batsman trying to draw him out of the crease, bowling wide of the crease using uh, the angle. Yeah, the wrist position of Yasin has been uh, splendid. He's inviting, trying to create some kind of drift, going uh, wide of the crease. Yeah, drawing a false stroke. Pradeep is uh, the new man walking in. Pradeep Kumara. 115 for 8. Kuwait Sharks have really thrown it away. They had a great, great start. They just had to bat through the innings and ensure that they take it uh, towards the end. But a few quick wickets in the middle overs have heavily packed back things. Yasin goes back over the wicket, bowling to the left-hander. This time slightly flatter, slightly quicker. He looks in a bit of a, a problem with his footing. Probably driven towards uh, long off. Vijay is back on strike. He has scored 11. He's held thing to, uh, things together from the bottom. Trying to bowl slightly quicker and flatter. Yasin is not tossing the ball up to Vijay. This time played towards a deep mid wicket. Easy single. the end of over number 18, two overs to go. It's a successful over for Yasin. He got uh, Pizan. I beg your pardon, he got Abdul Hasib uh, stumped. One hundred and seventeen for eight with two more overs to go. The unfortunate thing uh, for the Kuwait Sharks is that they have their tail enders batting at uh, this crucial stage. They will try to accumulate as uh, many as possible. Boundaries will surely be a bonus. Pijoy is back on strike. was a quick delivery from Shafiq. Bijoy had no clue. Excellent pace being generated by Shafiq. Surely should be looking to bowl full and straight and as fast as possible. And within the stumps to try and clean these uh, tail enders. Should be looking to pick up both these wickets rather than bowl the 20 odd overs. This time, uh, play towards the deep mid wicket. Field really charging in. Forcing the batsman to keep it down to a single. Mohamed Shafiq has been very, very impressive. He has uh, bowled a very, very tidy and tight spell, 1 for 13. He's kept things very, very simple and straight. Most impressive thing is his bowling strategies has been very, very smart. He has changed the length when he is bowling to the middle over batters, especially to Kashif. He was uh, mixing it up with his short stuff. He's got a great uh, slower ball. Once again, quick, fast, straight. Slight inquiry. But the umpire nodding his head, uh, signaling uh, leg by, rightly so. Mm. 
Vijay scored 13. He started off uh, pretty quick, but then uh, was found struggling when he was facing the spinners. Yet again, another quick delivery. You really can't blame uh, the back end uh, tail enders uh, to come up with something really, really special, especially when the bowling has been so very tight. So very clinical. They have stuck to their fields. They have stuck to their plans, and they are executing it very, very well. The bowlers have justified the decision of Amin of bowling first, and this is the reason Amin was very, very comfortable winning the toss, electing to bowl. Shown great faith in his bowlers, and his bowlers have responded uh, very, very well. Uh, the surprising thing for me was, I mean, has not uh, bought in any fielders. He's not tried to attack the tail enders at any stage. There's no slips. Bold stumps out of the ground. That's a spectacle that every fast bowler loves seeing the stumps being uprooted. Great pace. Stumps really cartwheeling. Exciting start. Two for 13 so far. How much Shafiq has been uh, very, very impressive. Last week it's more, eh? 19 overs being bowled. Mohammad Suman will be walking in to face the last over. He'll be joining in Pradeep. I mean, will be very, very pleased with his bowling effort from his bowlers. Everybody have responded with the plenty of support. Pradeep, the left-hander, will be on strike. He is uh, uh, batting on one. <coughs> Excellent start to the last over. Yasin Patel will be completing his spell. We'd love to see Yasin really cleaning up things. Pulling into the stumps, firmly driven by Pradeep. Excellent shot. Running uh, the fielder straight. Great stuff there from uh, the bowlers. All these spinners have really responded. Uh, very, very well. And the pick of the bowlers has been Praveen. He has literally broke the backbone of the Kuwait Shark batting lineup. Yasin Patel will be going around the wicket to someone. That was quick. Again, he's an excellent fielder. That was a shy at the stumps. The captain will surely not mind the extra run being conceded, but taking a chance to run the uh, batter out, surely they would have closed the innings had that throw been accurate. Slightly quicker. That's a big shot coming up. Let's wait and watch. Does he have the elevation? But no, straight on the edge of the boundary. That's the end of the innings. And uh, Kuwait Sharks have perished. They've been bowled out here for 122. We have uh, a target for 123. We'll catch you back in a short break.
Okay. Uh, hi, good evening. Uh, here we have the close of the first innings, 122. And we have uh, with us uh, the medium pacer, Mohamed Shafiq. And I have someone to help us out. Yes, Shafiq, I would like to ask you a question. Great opportunity in this tournament. Okay, You have really sparkled. Excellent spell up front. And again, you came back. It was very, very tight. Can you just tell us something about it? Yes. How much today? Then, you know, yeah. By and by, happy, na, because I love this. This is the good thing. You are on the Kalikam by ten. By and by, happy. I think. Then, you know, yeah. I can't speak anything. Allah, that talking about. Then, do I should? Adi matter, Adi matter. Chala, I'm talking. I should be teach one. Then, the performance teach means any nalla it chaydu. Better, yes, uh, better than uh, first half. Uh, first half. Uh, first half. Uh, first half. 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 First so he gave it his all and now he's happy with the result. He's satisfied with how he's performed. Absolutely. I'm very happy. Just tell us about your pace and uh, what was your preparation? So, we keep going to go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and go ahead. So, that's why I'm going to go ahead and go ahead. Yes, I played in Kerala too many times. I played in Kerala until 25 category. Then, I... I like cricket is very my passion. Cricket is not my passion. Where did you play fast bowling? I was a proper tennis player. I was a proper tennis player. How many chances did you get to play in the bowling? I was a proper tennis player. I was a little bit difficult to get to play. So what do you think? That he has always probably wanted to be a fast bowler. And he came out from this tennis ball. Stitch ball, no, not the the tape ball, and playing from there, he realized that he was able to bowl bowl better than he could bat for me. So he he likes bowling fast. Yes, we are very pleased to see him bowl fast, and we would like to see him bowl even faster. All the best for the rest of the tournament. We would like to see you pick up a bag full of wickets. All thank the best. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you.
कोई चौक वर्सेस कोई चितास आपको दोबारा वेलकम बैक करते हैं स्लोविया क्रिकेट ग्राउंड से उसने 123 का टारगेट दिया है जो कोई इतना ज़्यादा अच्छा तो नहीं है लेकिन क्रिकेट में आप कह सकते हैं कि चंद अच्छे ओवर्स मैच का नक्शा बदल सकते हैं और रिक्वायर्ड रन तक छः शारिया एक पाँच अब देखते हैं कोई चितास कहाँ तक पहुँचते हैं कैसे स्कोर को चेस करते हैं हमारे वो व्यूवर चैनल हमें भी ज्वाइन किए उनको बताते चलें कोत क्रिकेट क्लब के जरिए अहतमाम खेला जाने वाला ये अलफ अब्राए टी ट्वेंटी नेशनल चैम्पियनशिप जिसमें चार टीमें कोत से बेहतरीन प्लेयर्स चुनकर बनाई गई हैं कोत चीताज कोत शार्ट्स का ये मैच जो कि सेकंड मैच था आज का कोत चीताज ने टॉस जीतकर जो है पहले बैटिंग का फैसला किया उनके कप्तान अमीन का ये फैसला किसी हद तक लगता है कि वाइस फैसला था लेकिन अंधेरे में या लाइट्स में आप कह सकते हैं कि ये टारगेट चेस करना थोड़ा सा मुश्किल होता है लेकिन उनका ये ब्रेफ फैसला उनकी टीम के हक में अच्छा साबित हुआ कि उन्होंने बड़े इकनॉमिकल कह सकते हैं कि बॉलर्स ने बॉलिंग की विकेट्स लेते रहे और टारगेट्स को 123 से आगे बढ़ने नहीं दिया अब देखते हैं कि क्या इस स्कोर पे कोई शॉक्स जो हैं वो इसको डिफेंड कर पाते हैं या नहीं और साथ ही साथ क्या हमत अमली अपनाते हैं कोई चीताज के बैट्समैन आमिर महमूद जो कि आमिर मुल्ला के नाम से काफ़ी फेमस हैं और वो उनके साथ दानिश कालू ओपन करने आए हैं जो विकेट कीपर बैट्समैन है जबकि हसीब जो हैं ए नसीब जो है वो अपनी तरफ से पहली पहला ओवर करने आए हैं और पहली बॉल पे चार रन हासिल किए आमिर ने आमिर जिनका एक खासा रहा है कोई क्रिकेट में बड़ा नाम रहे हिटिंग करने में देखते हैं क्या वो अपने उसी कदर में नज़र आते हैं आज या नहीं शॉर्ट बॉल ऑफ से थोड़ा सा बाहर था और बीट हुए हसीब अपना पहला ओवर कर रहे हैं कोई शॉर्ट्स की तरफ से ये भी काफी अरसे तक कोई अंडर 19 अंडर 16 खेलते रहे हैं कमेंट्री के लिए दोबारा विनोद के पास माइक जी विनोद थैंक यू तारिक सर एंड वी वेलकम अगेन ऑल द व्यूअर्स ट्यूनिंग इन फॉर दिस लाइव मैच ये सेकेंड मैच ऑफ दिस कंपटीशन इन दिस डे चेसिंग Hundred and twenty-three. It's a pretty easy challenge. Looking at the batters, Amir Javed, a very renowned, exciting former captain for Kuwait cricket. He's been there up and about with a few injury niggles, and he's back in action. and uh, this competition will surely throw in a great challenge for amir he is very very capable he's very strong down the ground i would love to see him really go after the bowlers he's an attacking batsman by nature he loves uh, the ball coming on to the bat his opening partner is dinesh kalo once again he goes a huge that's gone very very high That is a humongous one bounce into the fence. He got a lot of height, but not the distance. And that's what I was talking about, uh, Amir. 
You cannot keep Ahmed quiet for a long time. He loves uh, taking up the challenge uh, to go after the bowlers. And uh, we have already seen two attacking shots. One in the offside, one in the leg side. He is very, very renowned for hitting some huge, humongous sixes. This time, he lets the ball go pretty much wide. He's, has an, he's in not in any mood to chase this one. Abdul Hasib, again, growing through the under-19s for Kuwait cricket. He has grown in stature, gaining experience season after season. He loves bowling the short ball. Let us wait and watch. Is he going to challenge Amir with some short stuff? Full and straight. Superb shot there by Amir. He allowed. The good thing about Amir, he's not trying to overhit the ball. He's slightly placing it. Trying to get his timing going. Trying to get his placements right. Kashif has a big headache. He's trying to swivel his fielders around. But Amir, literally toying with the fielders. Two shots over extra cover, both crashing into the fence. Once again, slicing it, slashes, thick and hard. The ball really screaming through, boundary. That's what happens when you go hard at the ball. Any outside edge, the ball will fly away. Kashif uh, doesn't have too many options. He has only two fielders to be placed outside the circle. And right now, Amir is keeping him guessing anything outside the off stump. He's going after it. An aggressive approach. He's got 16 already. Four boundaries. All of the bat of Amir. Danish Kalu is yet to face a delivery. He'll be taking strike. Amir has a very simple formula. I see the ball. I hit it hard. Amir will be very, very happy to see himself back into some sort of form. And that is attacking form. We have a Short, wide east third man, backward point, a point, a cover point, a short extra cover. Four fielders, square of the wicket on the offside, one fielder in front. There is no mid-off, the long off is in place, there is a square leg. Pradeep, the left arm spinner, will be bowling from the garden end. You have a mid on in, in the circle. Again, he slices it away, trying to pierce the field, but this time, not uh, finding the gap. Good start there by Pradeep. Starts off with the dot ball. Again, watchfully played. Again, a very, very experienced campaigner, tossing the ball up, bowling it slightly slower. That was a quick flat throw up and above the stumps. The keeper failing to collect the ball. Plenty of action. Plenty of excitement. Amir Javed, he will be facing the left armour for the first time. And he loves uh, going after the spinners. It will surely be very, very exciting. Let's wait and watch the bowler taking on the batter. Watchfully played. That's good stuff there by the skipper. Sliding away. You're trying to stop everything possible. That's an, a very, very aggressive attacking approach. Once again, he goes. The left leg out of the way. Trying to hike it. Up and over, completely beaten there. Amir is looking very, very anxious. Uh, Pradeep trying to make a few changes. He's calling the deep mid wicket inside. He's uh, pushing back the mid on too long on. 
rightly so Ahmed loves playing straight down the ground this time bowled slightly flatter and a bit quicker this is a great sign going forward meet Bowser Taufik uh, one of the few youngsters who have been picked there is Umar Abdullah as well who has been uh, representing Kuwait from the Kuwait under 19s plenty of youngsters uh, have been included in this uh, competition Fully played by Danish uh, Abdul Nasib has uh, resumed bowling his second over from the road end. He's uh, generating great pace. Let us wait and watch the length and the line that he bowls. We'll have to wait and watch to see if there's any sort of movement in the air or off the wicket. Yeah, there's a slight shape away from the uh, batsman. It's been called a no ball. That's an uh, error. I think it's uh, something to do with his footing, overstepping. That's something the fast bowlers hate to watch, being seeing themselves overstepping. It's going to be a free hit, the first free hit in this innings. That's a uh, see how Danish takes it I'm sure it's gonna be a short ball but this time it's full and straight and Danish goes Six. amazingly straight straight as an arrow flat batted six the ball crashing into the side screens the free hit has been maximized by the batter Danish has been quiet for a while an error from Abdul Hasib has allowed Danish uh, to free his arms. That's exactly what a batter wants. It's, uh, they have raced to 26 in 2.2 hours. This time again driven firmly down the ground towards the long on. The valiant effort from the fielder there from long off uh, to cut it off. We'll have to wait and watch. Yes, two easy runs. It was a very, very good stop. Great effort there by the fielder, sliding away, throwing himself, ensuring that uh, every run is being saved. This competition, this is what uh, we are looking forward to. Plenty of effort, plenty of intent, and plenty of display from the youngsters with their talent. Slower ball this time, cheekily played. But uh, he was not able to get the placement right. He just dabbed the ball, trying to back paddle it behind. The lack of pace, uh, not taking it to the fence. This time, it's been a while. Amir Javed is back on strike. Amir. Uh, He's got a pretty steady stance. Short ball. Yes, surprised him. I was just talking about Abdul Asib's short delivery. That was a very quick bouncer. One for the over, says the umpire. Great stuff. Exciting stuff from the fast bowler. He's just letting Amir know that he doesn't want to see him coming on to the front foot. And that bouncer, the direction of the bouncer was right uh, above the right shoulder. Exceptional from the bowler. Slow ball this time and this time Amir says thank you very much. He places it away, the ball trickles straight in the fence. Easy pickings there for Amir. Another boundary to his name. The fifth boundary for uh, Amir is dealing only in boundaries. 
Abdul Hasib, two hours thirty-two. He's been taken to the cleaners by both these batsmen. Courtesy, his no ball. He has allowed Danish to take full toll. He's been uh, flooding runs. Is Abdul Hasib? No doubt, he has a uh, great pace. But when you have pace, that's the uh, danger. The batsmen love the ball coming on to the bat. There's a ring of fielders on the offside. Four of them on the circle. The only fielder in is the short cover trying to save a single. Watchfully played. Great effort by the fielders backing up there. Throwing themselves, trying to stop every run possible. On the other hand, Pradeep has been very, very impressive. He has just given away one run. He's bowling a very tight line. Slightly wider, slightly tossed up, slower through the air. He's kept both the batsmen quiet. He has not got much support from the other end. With his bowling partner, Abdul Asib. He has added uh, all his experience to ensure that he's bowling as tight as possible. But the pressure being released from the other end. This time slightly quicker into the stumps. Great effort. Chasing down, sliding, trying to throw the ball back onto the stumps. Unable to pick the ball or collect the ball cleanly. Again, a single is very, very upset with himself is uh, Pradeep. No fielder stopping any singles on the leg side. The dangerous Amir is back on strike. He's uh, really not happy with the side screen. Slight disturbance. Slight movement. Great batsman. Always uh, ensures that everything is in line. Composure and focus. Left arm around. Slightly slower. Played into the ground. You have to compliment Pradeep for bowling and sticking to his line, sticking to his length. He's not trying anything fancy. He's just uh, literally changing his pace now and then. Slightly quicker. This time Amir compensates. He has walloped it towards uh, deep mid-wicket. Excellent shot up and over. He's flicked it. That was a very powerful shot and jab. It's gone flat. Amazing shot there by Amir. This came out of nowhere. He was waiting for the quicker ball. He was expecting Pradeep to bowl the quicker ball at some stage, but he managed to bowl it within the stumps and Amir punishing it. Another maximum there for Amir. Again, he goes hard. Left leg out of the way. Unable to get any elevation or timing. Plays it down the ground towards the uh, long off. Another single. Pradeep is very, very uh, upset with the only bad ball that he's bowled within the stumps. But uh, mind you, that was an excellent shot. You really can't call it a bad ball because Amir has come up with a surprising element with that shot. He's raced to 27 of just 14 deliveries. The opening partnership is 41 of just four overs. Look, uh, the the, the Koi Cheetahs are looking to finish things in a hurry. Kashif Sharif has plenty of questions to answer. He's wondering from where is wicket number one going to come. He's looking around at his bowlers. A slight uh, interruption. I wonder what uh, is being discussed. The ball. I think it's a side screen for sure. That's been uh, disturbing the batsman from the garden end. Surely going to be a change in uh, bowling. Shoydullah is the new bowler, bowling from the road end. He'll be bowling to the dangerous Amir Javed. We have a deep long on 
and a deep long off the only two fielders allowed there's a circle of fielders all on the edge of the circle and once again amir javed slight room outside the off stump clinical shot couple of bounces into the fence he is very very strong on the off side easy pickings and kashif is having a headache trying to change the field because every time he brings the fielder inside amir goes up and over the covers again that was a quick delivery there from shoidullah not the start that he would be wanting he will be under some pressure with both these batsmen really going after the bowlers we'll have to wait and watch uh, the lines they're going to be bowling that was a quick ball off the back foot what a magnificent shot that is it is up and over a humongous six very very effortless day from amir javed such is the class of this man any error from the bowlers and he will punish you severely is dealing in uh, sixes and fours this uh, at the moment he is not in any mood to run for singles and twos he's hit the ball out of the park the timing was impeccable on this shot almost 20 roads outside the boundary a pretty animated discussion there by the batters i wonder what they be, they will be discussing is it the distance uh, that is hitting the balls or the pace or are they targeting the bowlers 37 of 17 from uh, amir he's been flashy is punished uh, both the medium paces at will that was a quick delivery uh, this time uh, amir so unlike him he has allowed the ball to go back yes sir yeah. danish kalu right now he's been uh, watching amir batting from the other end the best seat in house it's a treat right now to watch amir in full flow this competition will certainly get a lot of uh, exciting players and the viewers at the edge of the seats what watching uh, these matches live being brought to you by the kuwait cricket official once again slightly outside the off stump watchfully left by amir excellent bowling there by shodullah he's been uh, pretty tight this time hit firmly one bounce straight to mid on that's the uh, end of over number 5 52 for no loss kashif hunting down trying to pick the first wicket is yes. it's made already is made uh, plenty of changes in the bowling amir is batting on 37 quick fire 37 of 20 been a spectator there with the 11 from 11 he has uh, done very well he has rotated the strike very smartly allowed uh, amir to take uh, full toll of the bowlers because amir has loved the bowling uh, batting uh, or facing the fast bowlers it's been very very severe on them it's 
going to be Pradeep once again. Punched off the back foot. Sloppy work there by the fielder. Easy boundary. That is not uh, what you would be expecting. It was a good line. But the length slightly on the shorter side. Punched off the back foot. Handsome stroke there by Danish. He has been very patient. But whenever Danish has got the chance... He has been striking cleanly. This time, pretty quick, pretty flatter. Watchfully left by Amir Javed, rightly uh, mentioning to his partner that the change in pace, watch it, watch out for the change in pace. Beautifully bowled, great work there by the wicket keeper. The umpire says, let's uh, move on. Good sharp work there by Usman Ghani, the experienced campaigner. The wicket keeper for the national, uh, national team. He has failed to score today and that's what really has hurt the Kuwait Sharks and Usman Ghani battered. It would have been a different story altogether. Watchfully played by Danish. He's looking good. He's middling uh, the ball very, very well. Both these batsmen have timed the ball very, very sweetly. And again, excellent over. The only boundary that was conceded with the very first ball. Courtesy, a sloppy misfield by the fielder. Hurting uh, Pradeep. He'll not be very happy with the effort. Six overs done. The power play done and dusted. 56 for no loss. Amir is looking very, very relaxed. He's looking fit, which is a great sign. be a plenty of competition with a lot of talent uh, on display during this uh, tournament Once again, trying to heave it away. Shavadul Lao was bowled his first over for 11 runs. It was a pretty decent over. Right arm over, slight a bit of width and room. Excellent shot. Once again, the ball racing away. Two easy runs. He sliced the ball. Backward a point towards the wide East third man. The field is very well spread out. There is a short third man. A backward point. There is a short fine leg. Short cover, everyone riding on the boundary as they are very much aware of the fear that uh, Amir brings. No fielders anyway close. It's again beautifully bold, right in the block hole, giving nothing away. Excellent comeback there by Shahdullah. He is bowling pretty decently. Trying to keep uh, both these batters quiet is not an easy job. Because uh, they are going after the bowlers. They are looking to attack. They have really nothing to lose. There is no pressure from the batters. They are trying to finish this game in a hurry. It 
Just kept things very simple again. Beautifully bold. Amir angling the ball away, allowing the ball to come onto the bat. He steered away towards the backward point. Two more easy runs. Great timing there. The fielding has been uh, of mixed standards. There have been a few sloppy misfields which have allowed the batsmen a few boundaries. This time trying to get a bit cheeky there, moving uh, across towards the off stump, not getting uh, too much elevation or timing. In the end, the ball really scooping to fine leg. Taufik, the youngster from the under 19s, substituting, ensuring that the ball uh, was fielded. Only two runs being conceded. Amir Javed is looking very, very fancy. Excellent shot. Played up and over. Extra cover. But uh, there's a long off. Running to his left. Ensuring it's just a single. With this field spread after the power play. Plenty of uh, running uh, will be seen now between both these batters. This will also ensure how fit Amir is. There will be a double bowling change. Is it? Uh, I think no. Pradeep will be continuing. Since it's a small target. And already they are halfway through. The captain wants Pradeep to bowl his full quota. Of four overs. Slip in place with uh, Pradeep bowling his last over, but he's bowling into the stumps. The ball being uh, tickled away towards uh, square leg. Easy single. Dhanesh will be on strike. We'll have to wait and watch uh, the line and the pace that he bowls, considering that he's uh, just bought in a slip in his uh, last over. Once again, going uh, up and over. Have to wait and watch. Oh. And that's uh, being held. Easy catch. Inviting uh, the batsman to go after the bowler. Finally, Pradeep tastes some success. He has uh, foxed Danish into a false stroke. Inviting him to take him on. Wicket number one falls. Some relief, surely, for the Kuwait Sharks to see the back of Danish. A couple of uh, good overs, a couple of breakthroughs, and things certainly can change quick and fast. Cricket is a very strange and funny game. It can change in split moments. But the good thing uh, for Kuwait Cheetahs is uh, Amir uh, Javed is still there at the crease. Anis Darkan is the new batsman who is walking into bat. He will be joining uh, Amir. Anis also has been in uh, pretty good form this season. Plenty of uh, new faces have been picked in this competition. And they've been given the exposure to compete, prepare and play with the big guns. All the national players beautifully bowl there outside the off stump. Uh, Pradeep has bo been bowling so very well. It's been slightly unfortunate. Uh, I was pretty close. He uh, kept Amir guessing. Amir is waiting for the quicker ball, but uh, he's kept things very tight. But the line outside the off stump has been brilliant. And that's what I'm speaking about. Excellent line there from Pradeep. 
He's inviting Amir to take him on. If you want to hit me, go over the top. Now they've got in a gully as well. And just trying to play a few mind games. Played away towards the square leg in front of square. Easy single. Amir will uh, take a moment, sit back and relax and say, I'm not going to throw it away from here. He's batting on 46. He's done very well to run himself back into form. Anis uh, will be taking strike for the first time. Two fielders, cl close catching fielders. Something very rare you will not see in a T20. A slip and a gully. But uh, mind you, Pradeep is bowling brilliantly. Yes, exactly. But slightly wavered. Outside the off stump, being called a wide. Very few deliveries have been bowled uh, wayward. Oh, that's a brilliant ball there. Beating uh, the batsman all ends up. Excellent spell there. Being ended by an excellent delivery there from Pradeep. Very, very tight spell. 1 for 17. Considering Amir has scored 46 in this breezy innings of 67. That is an uh, exceptional spell from Pradeep. Anish Darkan is yet to open his account. Danish Javid was the first wicket to fall for 15 of 18 deliveries. He was caught by Mizan. A very well judged, uh, composed catch. The bowler successful uh, was Pradeep. We're going to see Amir taking strike. Eight overs been bowled, 67 for one. And Bijoy Philip will be bowling from the road end. He'll be bowling for the first time in this competition. Lots of spinners have been very, very active on the opening day of this competition in both the matches. They've been very, very handy. Once again, right arm over. A wrist spinner is always very, very exciting to watch because they have plenty of uh, tricks down uh, their bag with their variations. Superbly ball there, flighted delivery, not much turn on offer, easily played away towards uh, the offside. Amir is looking now a bit more composed, he doesn't want to be giving it away after getting a great start. Let's uh, have, I would love to see a slip for Anis, Anis goes big, long. Does he have the distance? Excellent effort! That is a superb catch! Mind you, a fielder from long off has taken a catch towards long on. Ali Zahir, the all-rounder, is so quick, so athletic. Wonderful effort. Sprinted almost 15-20 uh, yards and showed that he called, called loud and clear. And that's the kind of effort you want to see when you're playing a low-scoring game. A few good catches, a few exciting fielding efforts. Things can really change on his head. Wicket number two gone. And the most experienced uh, campaigner from the Kuwait Cheetahs, their skipper, Amin Ijaz, is walking to the crease to join Amir Javid. Both of them have played uh, plenty of cricket for Kuwait together. So the experience here is certainly going to be tested. But great, great start there by Bijoy Philip. A wicket in his first over. And he's Darkan looking slightly impatient, trying to go off to the bowler. Whereas he only was needed to pick up a few singles, allow Ahmed to take the strike, get himself in. You do not want to be throwing... Uh, your opportunity so easily. 
beautiful delivery once again he has bowled uh, it well within the stumps trying to get as much as per as much purchase from the wicket if possible but it's a beautiful batting wicket pretty flat yes i mean and rightly so they've got a slip now kashif has uh, got himself into the slips that's a good uh, attacking strategy very well bowled i would love to see a forward short leg that's a way to fancy to ask for in a t20 game but uh, it's a t20 game you want to throw the batsman uh, out of uh, focus slightly shorter slightly quicker pujoy is not being smart he's not applying pressure to the new batsman there's no fielders inside the circle you would want to be stop in all these singles easy singles because the score is already 70 for the loss of two wickets another 53 more required and you have 11 overs to do so See how Amir Javed so much so relaxed. It's going to be a change in bowling. It's going to be change from the garden and as well, double change. Another leg spinner, beautifully bowled, excellent delivery. He is beaten. I mean, all ends up. He has literally foxed him. Looks like the ball of the tournament so far. Ball pitching on and outside the leg stump, turning away, squaring the batsman up. The batsman uh, found it uh, difficult. He was not sure whether to go forward or to go back, but uh, excellent bowling there. Ali Zahir the all-rounder finding himself in action earlier Ali Zahir took a splendid catch at long on running from long off and now he's coming to bowl and he has bowled a brilliant delivery something you would love to see over and over again a perfect leg spinner's uh, ball Now I would really love to see more fielders close in stopping those singles around the bat you have to push the batsman against the wall trying uh, to make sure that he takes few more risks Kashif has got himself uh, in the first slip is a uh, point backward point plenty of changes a lot of fielders are being swapped around they're trying to get the quicker fielders inside the circle tofik uh, the youngster has been called he is standing at point there's a backward point point the short cover a slip no fielders on the leg side that's pretty surprising for the new batsman beautifully bowled slightly quicker watchfully played there by shiraz he looks pretty relaxed The all-rounder Shiraz is facing the all-rounder Ali Zahir. Once again, tossed up, but uh, outside the leg stump, 
Trying to sort it away down the leg side. He's uh, sliding it away. It's... It is waiting for the umpire signal. Yes, a boundary being gained there. Excellent shot there, but that was a poor delivery down the leg side. Slightly getting carried away, Aliza here. Trying to spin the ball way outside the legs, uh, from way outside the leg stump. Shiraz equally smart. He plays the paddle sweep and fetches himself a boundary. A great start there by Shiraz. Again, watchfully played into the offside. Soft hands. That is a good line. Good comeback there. Shifted his line from uh, middle, middle and leg towards uh, the off stump. But he's certainly turning the ball. Uh, is uh, Ali Zahir. Bowled again. Well within the stumps. Driven firmly back past the bowler. Uh, Siraz, a pretty tall lad, approximately six feet. He looks uh, very, very fit, very, very strong physically. Sure, at some point uh, he'll want to use his strength to muscle the ball up and over. But my word, Amir uh, Javed has been uh, off strike for a long, long time. And again, he will be standing at the non-striker's end. He's batting on 49. One run away from his uh, half century. Beautifully bowled, slightly quicker, trying to force it off the back foot, completely beaten there. A strange field, he's bowling outside the off stump, he's bowling slightly slower, there are plenty of fielders behind square, there's a slip, the backward point, a wideish gully, short ball, this time Siraj muscles it away, plenty of distance, plenty of uh, elevation, up and over, that is uh, a very very powerful shot. He just swivels back on his back foot and he launches it into the orbit. The Empire signal for a new ball straight away. It's out of the park. And a few seconds ago I just mentioned about the physique that Shiraz uh, possesses. And that's the reason the ball has been launched outside the ground. He's very muscular, very very fit. He's using all his uh, power. That was it very, very effortlessly. It was not that bad. It was slightly on the shorter side. But definitely it was not a half tracker. But Shiraz made it look so easy. Vijay flighting the ball, inviting him uh, to go again. But this time watchfully driven. He's mixing, uh, mix, sorry, he's mixing Caution with the, the with the wind. Firmly driven. Once again, getting an outside edge straight towards uh, the point and he's dropped it. That was a sitter. Hard hands at the ball, getting an outside edge, the ball slicing it away. The bowler will be very, very disappointed because he is playing with the batsman's mind. He's mixing it up. He's changing the line and the length and he has uh, driven the batsman into a false stroke but at the same time uh, the fielders not aiding their bowlers. This time played off the back foot, comfortably played, back foot of square, slicing it, two easy runs from Ami's bat and he raises his bat, it says uh, 50.
acknowledges uh, the dressing room that is an excellent 50 very well composed mixed with a lot of aggression brilliantly played he's going to take a breather his armor he needs to recompose and restart what is his name it's okay. uh, not uh, done yet Surely, it is uh, 85, three wickets the, uh, at the end of 11 overs. There was slight excitement with two quick wickets. The wickets of Anis and Amin. Creating uh, some hope for the Kuwait Sharks, but uh, Shiraz has uh, drilled a couple powerful shots, a chance. He's been having a mixed innings, uh, Ishiraz. He's got an easy chance being dropped at point. He'll be very, very happy about it. You need to pick up wickets if you want to create uh, pressure or come back into the game. Ali Zahir, again, is bold. Uh, a half tracker. Easily punched to the leg side, a single that uh, brings Shiraz back on strike. Shiraz will be eyeing the mid-wicket boundary. Anything short, he will be waiting to put it away. But this time very well bowled. The good thing that Ali Zahir is doing is he's bowling it full. He's not allowing uh, Shiraz to go on the back foot. Keeping him guessing as to where Ali Zahir bowls. Excellent catch in the outfield. Fielder is Pradeep. He is very, very athletic, is Pradeep. Easy catch. A bit of drama to add as the fourth wicket falls. Is there anything left in this game for the Koei Sharks? Let's wait and watch. We would love to see a game going down the wire, filled with uh, plenty of excitement. Looks like uh, it's Yasin Patel walking in. An all-rounder has been replaced by another all-rounder. Both these spinning all-rounders. The good thing is Amir is very, very composed and he's batting and holding one end. He is called a bulk of these runs. Almost more than 50% of the runs have been scored by Amir. He's been very quiet so far. He's uh, being uh, very, very patient. Ensuring that he stays till the end. He wants to take his team home. Yasin Patel is an excellent fielder. He reminds us of uh, Ravendra Jadeja with his bowling and fielding uh, Acrobats, he's a style, very much agile. Ali Zahir picking up a wicket in this over as well. Full toss ball. He has just uh, placed it, he's not uh, hit it very hard as Amir. It was taken by surprise. Straight towards deep square leg, easy single. Yasin Patin, the left-hander, is back on strike. That's a good strategy. If a spinner, the leg spinner is bowling and the ball turning into the batsman, you would want to send a left-hander. And that's the reason I think Yasin Patel has uh, walked in. That uh, changes plenty of uh, things. With the left-hander and the right-hander combining together. Watchfully played off the back foot. Yasin Patel looks very, very composed. He's working and his game is improving with every season, every tournament. Exciting young prospect is uh, Yasin Patel. He will be surely pushing for a place in this competition. Easy single in his off the mark. 
score has moved on to 88 for 12 overs. Four wickets uh, have been lost down the road. That includes the captain, uh, Ijaz. I mean, he was out cheaply, which is very, very unusual. Ijaz uh, is a very, very experienced uh, campaigner. He doesn't throw his wicket away so easily, but you have to compliment the bowler. Earlier today, the first match of this competition was played between Kuwait Falcons and Kuwait Eagles. The Kuwait Falcons, batting first, uh, scored 143 for 9. In pursuit, the Kuwait Eagles failed to reach the target, scoring 132. They were bowled out. Harun Shahid, another left-arm spinner. Coming back, that was cheeky, very close, and he's thrown it away. Yasin Patel has created confusion and that is chaos. Amir Javed, poor calling. The ball was hit straight to the fielder. There was never a single. Yasin, of course, he's a very athletic uh, fielder and batter and bowler. He's very quick. But on the other side, Amir is not on the same page when it comes to matching up Yasin's pace. He responded and I think uh, Amir almost uh, sacrificed his wicket in the process. Good uh, smart throw straight into the gloves. Very much above the stumps. The another big blow now. Is there a twist in this match? We'll have to wait and watch. Yes. Mohammad Farooq is walking in now at the fall of Amir's wicket. Another powerful lad who can hit the ball a long way. Yes, coming back to the earlier match, the first match of this competition, Harun Shahid was uh, the star performer, picking up a 5 for, five for 14. Brilliant bowling there for Harun Shahid. He's very, very experienced. He's a legitimate left arm spinner with an exceptional uh, bowling action flight. Watchfully played there. Good start. Kashif, the captain, taking things in his own hands. Uh, the first wicket, he's come, he's brought himself back on. This time he bowls slightly quicker. Played into the gap. Played it late between the gully. Sliding. Uh, I think it's Pradeep. Excellent feeling there, keeping it down to one. The match has gotten to an ex exciting phase because uh, half the side is already into the dugout. Five wickets uh, down now, 89. Very well played there by Yasin. Plenty of fielders stopping the singles. That's the great thing. Uh, but the feeling changes. Four fielders, all the four fielders are in the offside. It's a good line that uh, Kashif is bowling. I would love to see the mid off in the circle as well. It would encourage the batsmen who are under pressure to go over the top and uh, fall for the trap. Ahmad Farooq trying to muscle the ball away, hitting it uh, very firmly back to the bowler. That's the end of Kashif's uh, successful over. Two runs and a wicket. Good start there. 90 for fun. 13 overs. We still uh, need almost 4.5 4 runs per over. So uh, surely nothing to really worry about for the Kuwait Cheetahs. Farooq again, a very experienced uh, batter, he's at the crease, he's been in these situations uh, many a times, many, many, many a times, this is nothing new for him, there is no fielder, there is no short mid wicket on the, for Yasin, who's looked to push and prod and pick runs here and there, like I just said there, ball played towards square leg, easy single, 
they're dealing in singles and that's exactly what they want they need uh, less than 4.5 runs and over get a small partnership building get to the 100 run mark and from there on psychologically you'll need 23 runs which is surely not uh, something that is uh, threatening Farooq is back on strike, short cover. He should be stopping uh, the singles inside the circle, slip in place. Ali Zaheer, beautifully bowled, tossed up, carefully left by Farooq. He is uh, not uh, pushing himself to go after Ali Zaheer. He just needs uh, to pick up a few singles here and there. Bowl slightly quicker. A huge appeal. Animated appeal there from everybody. The wicket keeper being supported by the bowler and then the fielders. Nothing much in that appeal. The umpires unmoved. The match officials have been uh, absolutely on uh, spot with their decision making. Very composed, short ball, been pulled away. We'll have to wait and watch. Valiant effort there by Pradeep. And it's uh, a catch. Can we call it a chance? He looks to be a slightly, in little bit of a spot of bother. I think he's hit on the face. I hope nothing is serious with Pradeep. The first aid team running in. That was a good effort by Pradeep, throwing himself uh, inside. He looks uh, slightly shaken up, but uh, he's uh, wisely been taken away. He needs uh, some medical attention and uh, rightly so, he'll be walking out, slight interruption there, this is something uh, you do really don't want to see in a field, when fielders getting injured, you want a great game, a lot of excitement but yes the risk, the element risk of uh, exciting fielding is what uh, Gets you injured. We wish that uh, Pradeep is uh, fit and nothing serious. Play will resume uh, in a few minutes. Safety and caution uh, has to be considered kept as uh, a high priority but again the effort uh, was fabulous from Pradeep he was uh, charging in trying to take the catch I think the ball slightly falling shorter we know the I know you are doing coaching also so many teams so my question is in this situation the way they are playing so what you will advise as a coach your team if you are a coach of Cheetah well uh, Pick up easy singles, you just need a few runs and plenty of gaps if you see the field uh, is uh, not well uh, wide. Spread. Exactly, then why they are going for the big shots, just the remaining score is just in 4 or 5 only. Well, that's the reason uh, the players, they are pretty young, they are pretty excited, they surely want to be taking things uh, you know, in an exciting fashion. They want to play their fancy shots, they want to make their presence felt. That's the reason they, they go for the glory shots. But experienced players, they always make sure that they don't throw things away. Any match being bowled till the last ball is never over. Beautiful ball there. Excellent delivery. Beaten all ends up. Farooq was left clueless. The spin department has been very, very impressive. All the spinners in this tournament so far in these two matches have been absolutely amazing 
Arun Shahid to mention. He took five wickets in the first match. Earlier today, giving away only 14 runs, making it a one-sided affair from his uh, perspective. He's a left-arm spinner. All the finger spinners and the wrist spinners are very skilled. That's great uh, prospects for Kuwait cricket going forward. Whenever uh, you want a pool of uh, talent, there's plenty of them. Kashif, the captain again. That was a quicker ball. Played very, very late. Allowing the ball to come out to the bat. We'll wait and watch. Has the ball gone to the uh, field? Two easy runs. Yasin Patel again. is a left-arm spinner. So is Pradeep. All these left-arm spinners are very, very athletic. They're very uh, agile. They fit. And the best thing is that they are excellent fielders. That's a close call. And yes, easy shot. A slight bit of inquiry there. We'll have to wait and watch. The fielders look very, very astonished. Yeah, umpires unmoved. Farooq was flirting with danger. Yasin again taking the risk. Earlier he ran Amir out. This time again he took the risk of uh, taking a single, a cheeky single. Fortunately, Farooq was uh, in the crease. He made his ground. That was a close call. Very well bowled there. Is it uh, slightly wayward? It's going to be a call wide. Yes, it is. Extra run been given. Sloppy work there by the keeper. Two runs conceded. 96 for 5. 14.2 overs. A slight element of doubt from the officials, the umpires. Again, played off the back foot, straight towards the fielder there. I'm sure I didn't pick it up in the lights. He lost it in the lights. Another boundary there for the Kuwait Sharks. Cheetahs, I beg your pardon. The Kuwait Sharks have been uh, really hurt by their fielding. The fielding effort has been very, very below par standards. Because there's been a few chances being dropped. Easy chances. Just one. Uh, there's something they'll have to go back and think about it. This has been a wide call. The captain. has been slightly wayward in this over. A couple of uh, wides. Once again, off the back foot. Into the gap. Six. It's a huge shot. Flat batted. Another enormous six there. It was very, very effortlessly hit. It just carried over the fence. Kashif looks uh, slightly hassled. Trying to hurry things up. Pulling a few wides. Pulling a few short balls, bad balls. Farooq uh, taking full toll of it. This time he's tossing the ball up, pulling it slow, changing the pace, rightly so. 108 for 5 after, 14 point, uh, after 15 overs. A short a drinks break there. Yasin Patel. They need almost uh, less than three runs from here on. Again, uh, 
nothing to really worry about the run rate is definitely not a factor i think now kashif should get the field inside trying to heave this one away getting an inside edge is a no ball being called is a no ball being called there kashif losing a bit of focus concentration is bold a few wides is bold no ball now a free hit now and yasin will be looking to plunder this one up and over i'm sure he's going to bowl it slightly quicker we'll have to wait and watch well bowl tossed it up smart bowling there by kashif driven towards uh, long on that's end of over number 1511 for 5 12 more runs required 5 overs to go 30 deliveries 12 runs couple of shots away for the koit cheetahs to register their first victory in this tournament which is looking very much likely as a uh, Kuwait Sharks You can see them the shoulders have slightly dropped After we didn't watch is it going to be Ali Sahir will be continuing his spell Now oh, finally there is a short mid wicket in place. Well bowled inside edge. Yasin Patel is batting on 8 of 11 deliveries. Ali Zahir Bowled a very tight spell, two for eleven. Tossed it up, slow through the air, driven firmly straight to the bowler. Still twelve needed of twenty-eight deliveries. Two dot balls being bowled. A wicket here will make things very very interesting. Once again, he goes for the big shot. It's uh, pretty much over the commentary box. That's another maximum. handsome stroke there by yasin he's been very very edgy he was uh, trying to play a few big shots but the situation uh, was not the need of the hour but this time he's got a free license they need six more runs one hit away is yasin going to go for the big hit to finish things off we'll have to wait and watch watchfully played played late towards a uh, short third man allowing the ball to come out of the bat no pace on the ball he had uh, six more runs is it going to be this over this ball again yes short ball that is the shot we were talking about and quite cheetahs have been victorious courtesy of uh, two splendid sixes from uh, yasin one over mid wicket one over deep square leg great victory comfortable victory with, with a bit of uh, drama chasing a total of 123 it's been a pretty good